Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a first impressions on the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I've heard rave reviews about this, so I'm really, really excited to try it. It is right up my alley. It's full coverage, long lasting. It's everything that I could ask for in a foundation, so I have heard, and so it claims to be. Full coverage, long wear, matte finish, waterproof, oil free. I actually picked this one up in Ulta when I was over in the US, and I have the shade four. Very unique bottle, and it looks really funky. Love that it comes with a pump, it comes with the 30 mil. Doesn't say anything about SPF, so it should be great for the flash photography. If you're new to my channel, I do have an oily T-zone, so it tends to go oily right through there. Depending on the foundation, it can go oily everywhere else. At the moment, it is 10.49 a.m., so we're gonna get started with this. I'm just gonna read a little bit from the box. It says, the ultimate foundation for a flawless looking complexion. This waterproof formula provides complete coverage that lasts all day or all night. With a modern matte finish that never looks overdone. Achieve a blown out effect you never thought possible for skin that looks amazing and stays that way. Perfect for all night affairs and other scandalous activities. This revolutionary formula is also comfortable to, enough to wear every day. One thing that I have heard about this foundation is it does oxidize two shades, I think they said. So hopefully I got the right one. I've actually got fake tan. I do have it on my face. It just doesn't I don't know, my face just doesn't take to fake tan. You take a pump on my clean hands. I hate that when you're just like pumping away and nothing comes out. So that was kind of like half, half a pump, but I'm going to pop it there. It does look quite light, so I'm hoping that it does oxidize. I didn't put primer on. You know what? I'll put primer on the other side of my face because I usually only do it on half. I'm going to put some of this primer. This is the Makeup Forever High Definition Primer. Now I've only put like a tiny little bit on here because it says a little goes a long way which I can see that it does. And I do have my damp beauty blender. No need to apply multiple layers. Sorry Urban K. <laughs> Applying multiple layers. To be fair I just did put a bit and then spread it out. It's very, very yellow. Okay, there you can see that full coverage. This reminds me of that Kat Von D Locket foundation. When I apply it, it, when I apply it, it's yellow. So I can definitely see that that's full coverage. I am going to apply it on my forehead now. It does blend out quite easily. I'd probably take a full pump on the forehead and then a full pump on each side. So three pumps. You'll probably get away with like two. That's that's full coverage. Damn. Feels like it dries really quickly. And definitely I can see that matte finish. I just need a little bit more. Because I didn't put as much on this side. Okay. Straight away, full coverage. Definitely lives up to that. A matte finish definitely lives up to that. I've got a little bit of scarring here from some pimples during the week and it hasn't fully covered them. I'm just going to put like a little bit more, see if it can't cover them. It still didn't like cover up my scarring, which is a bit annoying. My redness is still kind of popping through, but that's okay. I think um, it's done a really good job at covering everything else up. I can see kind of how it claims to blur out the imperfections. I can definitely see that. So I'll do a close up and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is how it is sitting on the skin. Feels like I do have foundation on. Like it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a light coverage foundation. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and then come back and show you how it looks. At the moment it's 10.57 and um, yeah, I'll see okay, you. So I have finished my makeup. It is 12.26. I also filmed like a hair tutorial as well. So, but this foundation looks effing flawless, like effing. It looks amazing, especially on the side where I have primed. It looks flawless. And this is the side where I have a large pores and you cannot see them. Like you... You can't, you can't see them. They're gone. I'll do a close up and show you what I mean. And I'll also quickly do a flash test. Wow, it's, it's really as good as what they say it is. It has oxidized and turned my color. It's gone my color. It looks amazing. It matches really, really well. And I'm so happy with it. Could this be my new Holy Grail foundation? We will see throughout the day. Let me just get, do a flash test. Oh. 
Holy sh! It looks amazing. Wow, that looks really good. You guys are gonna just like, oh yeah, yeah. I'm really, really happy with how it looks with the flash. So that's a bonus. Anyway, I'll show you a close up actually. Hopefully you can see how flawless it looks. Like I really hope you can see that. Hey guys, I just wanted to do a makeup check in. It's currently 5.41, so what time did I put it on? 11, I always do this. It's nearly been on my face seven hours. Wow, that is looking really good for seven hours. Obviously you can see it's looking <laughs> more dewy than it was when I first put it on. When I first put it on, it was really matte. And you can kind of see that glow and you can see a little bit of oiliness like in between my nose there. Apart from that, it looks absolutely flawless. Yeah, I feel the color is really good. It does look a little bit yellow, um, but I feel like it's still a really good match. Yeah, I'll check back in with you in, what is it? It's nearly six now, maybe at like nine o'clock and um, show you the final update on the foundation and my review. But so far... It's looking amazing. And all that would be is just like a little bit of like blotting paper or something. It's separated a tiny little bit, but it still looks flawless over my enlarged pores. They're just showing through like a tiny, tiny little bit. It's even like, I don't know what it's done. It really has like blurred out the imperfections. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. Hey guys, I'm back for the final checkup and it's 9 p.m. At this point in time, <laughs> foundation looks really really shiny um it looks really cakey in this area i just look quite oily around my nose <laughs> i can't hide that i can't do anything about it um obviously so i've been wearing the foundation for 10 hours have not touched up at all so i think it's done really well considering um oh there's a pimple coming through damn it I think it's done really well considering I actually had to run out in the rain and save my clothes off the clothesline. I have got a pimple that has developed throughout the day, which is interesting. Um, it looks like it's also transferred off a bit here and I have been that maybe like doing that or I did, I was laying on Dean on the couch, like resting my head on him. So maybe it's worn off through that, but everywhere else, it looks like it's held up really, really well. Like it has not come off this side whatsoever. As far as the primer goes, I feel like the prime side is held up a little bit better. Above my lip looks absolutely terrible. I'll have to show you in a close up because it does not look nice at all. I just did a vlog and I'm like, oh, I'm just going to take a tissue because I don't know where my blotting papers are. Look at that. I just pressed once. Not much came off on the tissue, but it has cleared up that area. Look at that compared to that. Okay, I'm going to do it. Oops, I just got lipstick there. My bad. I feel like this just kind of soaks up the oil. I feel like that that's really helped. I'm sure with like a little touch up, this foundation is going to last a while. I looks really, really weird around here. I don't know why. I should test the water level. I'm just gonna use some fixing spray. It's definitely waterproof. That didn't even like come off then. Look at that. Passed the waterproof test. Didn't melt off my face like some other foundations. That's done really well. I'll do a close up and show you. So here's a close up of the foundation. Hopefully you can see this part here not looking amazing and you can see where it's transferred there. But that is where I popped the water on my face. So it like it's still on there considering I popped a lot of water on there, sprayed a lot of water. Hopefully you can see above my lip, it's not looking too great at the moment, but everywhere else it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So overall, I would definitely recommend giving this foundation a go. It didn't take much to take away the oiliness. I just used a tissue and after 10 hours of wear, I think it's held up really, really well. I like the full coverage. It was easy to apply. It does feel like I'm wearing makeup, but I do have like lashes and everything else on and I'm used to wearing that much makeup and I don't know what it's like for everyday use.
considering this pimple and I don't usually get pimples. I think it's done pretty well. So have you tried this foundation? Let me know what your thoughts are of it down below. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.